welcome back. Mail call day. Today's the day. I got some goodies in today. I want to share you one of my newest designs on Zazzle.com for t-shirts. And here it is. This is the only color they had available right now. How do you like that design? Wicked, wicked, wicked. Isn't that beautiful? It's a sailor. King of pins. And I have a dragon there with the pen of uh, the Sailor King of Pens with Larry's Fountain Pens. Well, what do you think about that? Cool looking shirt. Really nice looking shirt. And then I have another one. Bear with me. We'll open that one up. Today is mail call day, folks. And it's just like Christmas. You get it opened up all the goodies. But you got to have the money to buy the goodies, and that's a lot of savings for me. But that's okay. Here it is. Another new design of a shirt. And this is a little bit different. This one has uh, the bow tie, glasses, a bigger pin. And the ink is uh, a lot darker. And then the ant is holding an envelope. So in Larry's pen, fountain pen. So there's another one. And uh, that's pretty cool. So that was so much for the shirts. And you can find all them cool designs on Zazzle.com uh, website if you're interested. Now, this came in today. From Japan, um, and there's a story why I did this. If you uh, keep up with my video, you notice that I have a Omos 360, right? Well, I traded that with a guy in the Fort Worth Pin Club my uh, Sailor Pro Gear for that uh, Omos. I didn't have an Omos and I wanted one and so I said, you know what? It's now or never. So I did it and uh, I love my Omos 360. Great fountain pen. Glad I did it. But I missed my Pro Gear a whole lot. So let me get into this little jewel. So I've been saving up my pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters and dollar bills for real. I have a, a bottle that I throw change in there and dollar bills and stuff and it adds up. So here's the sailor. I'm going to show you what the pen is, talk a little bit about it, and I'll do the review after I use the pen a while okay comes in a regular white cardboard sleeve uh, a nice uh, leather kind of had that leather feel pin case with the sailor and the logo here on top nice looking pin case I like pin cases so but it's what's in the pin case that counts right let's open it up here it is with uh, your warranty and instructions about Sailor and it comes with uh, two cartridges and anything underneath the hood nope nothing under there and here is the pen so let's get this little jewel out <laughs> Because it's not wanting to come out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, it's in there pretty good. It's sealed up. So let me just do that right there. That'll get it. Alrighty. Here we go. And 
beautiful Sailor Pro Gear. Beautiful pin, screw on cap. And twenty one K nib, checking it out. And this nib I'm gonna be trying out is a hard sign nib. Yep, you heard it. Hard, fine nib. Beautiful nib. Now, I've been uh, checking out some fine and extra fine nibs to see uh, how they write and what I think of them. And I'm going to have to uh, put a converter in there. That's okay. I have one with my other pins. Uh, but uh, lovely pin. I believe... Uh, But I had to have one. I, I had to have a Pro Gear, and the one I traded for the Omos uh, was uh, a medium nib. Really nice pen. Beautiful pen. Just like this. Exactly like it. But this is a hard fine. And I was kind of torn between a soft fine and a hard fine. Well, I've, I've used a soft fine. They really, really are sweet nibs. I never have tried a hard fine. So I said, you know, why not? Let's venture out and try it. So I did it. Now, I've said this before. It takes me quite a bit of time to save up for a pen. But since I do re uh, review pens, I do my best to try to get pens to review for you folks out there. Uh, it can take me four weeks up to two years, depending how much the pin costs. But, you know, th there's there will always be a pin out there that will be affordable to meet your needs. If you're a person on a very low, low budget, you can find a pin. They're out there. You know, they may not have all the bells and whistles, but it's still a fountain pen. Uh, you can pick up under five bucks a really nice fountain pen. Uh, are they urine? A urine. urine. A urine. Beautiful pens. They copies of uh, like the Lamy uh, Safari. Beautiful low, and they write extremely well. Uh, you can pick up some nice, beautiful Gen House seven fifties, four fifties, one fifty nines. Well, they're out there, and those are like. You can find those for under five bucks, and you can pick up a nib from Anderson Nibs uh, for what under, what well, I think they're under fifteen, something like that, a number six nib, and uh, change them out. But you can find a pen, so don't give up hope because there's pens out there, and maybe you know down the road you can save for like I do, save your pennies, nickels, and dimes. It adds up. And you can buy a nicer pen. Uh, okay, let's say if you're going out buying hamburgers and sodas and stuff like that, would you know, kind of cut back on that and put that money, save it up. And before you know it, you'll have 20, 30, 40 bucks. And then you can buy yourself a, a nice pen. But like I said, you know, you can uh, check on eBay. And uh, get some really nice, decent Chinese pens and some Japanese pens. And then you can start your journey from there. So I hope that helps. Uh, but I'm glad to have my Pro Gear back in the family. I really do love the Sailor Fountain pens. They really are a work of art. Uh, but to each their own, right? All right, folks, that's going to wrap this one up. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Mail Call. I hope you got something out of it. Hey, today in Fort Worth, it hit as low as 20 degrees with the wind blowing. I forgot what the chill factor is, but it's a booger out there. So stay dry, stay safe, keep warm, and remember, folks, don't text and drive. I'll check you guys later. Peace.